Hey guys, today we're gonna to make one of my favorite side dishes. It is patatas bravas or papas bravas. It is a typically a fried potato covered in this uh, smoky paprika sauce. And then I'm gonna to top it with some cilantro. Cilantro is hit or miss with a lot of people. I understand that. It's genetic. If you didn't know, look it up. It's beautiful outside, so I'm not gonna fry them like a typical papas bravas. We're gonna blanch, we're gonna shock them, toss them in oil, salt, and pepper, and then hit them on the grill, and then serve them up. Um, I hope you enjoy it. You wanna wedge these potatoes up into eighths. You want to start with cold water, otherwise your outsides will be mush before your insides are cooked. Bring these to a boil, let them go for about five minutes, and then shock and ice. Add several glugs of a good quality olive oil. And as always, season with salt and pepper. Alright, potatoes are chilling, we're going to start on the sauce. So you're going to need chicken stock. Flour, oil, crushed red pepper, cumin, smoked paprika, garlic, and a lime, which I forgot to put in the picture. This is a form of a velouté. If you don't know, look that up. You want to start this out in a cold pan. So add your oil, smoked paprika, sliced garlic, sliced like good fellas thin, crushed red pepper, cumin, and stir that up. You're gonna heat this over medium heat just until it gets fragrant and you start to see some movement in the pan. And by movement in the pan, like the pan almost looks like it's coming alive. From here, we're gonna add our flour and make a basically a roux. Stir this, get everything incorporated and then cook over medium heat still for an additional two minutes. Once it starts to look nice and bubbly like this, you're gonna wanna add chicken stock and then continue over medium heat stirring until it starts to thicken up. See, it starts to get that velvety texture. And at this point, please add salt and pepper. I totally forgot to film it, but please add salt and pepper. We're grilling these not only to add texture to kind of crisp them up a little bit, um, but really to accent that smokiness that's going to be on the sauce. We're going to squeeze just a half a lime in here. Whoa. That boy got good yes, technique right there. Yes, he does. Yes. he does. Yes. Cilantro, whether you like it or not, it's up to you. If you don't, I feel sorry for you. Serve these alongside flank steak. That recipe will be right here. 
Man, these are good. Have a great night. I'm gonna finish these off. See you later.